In the final section of this module, let's take a short look at molecule installation. Before running the installer, make certain that each item on the install checklist is complete. The molecule checklist includes to ensure that the server meets the necessary system requirements, synchronizing the system clocks using NTP, ensuring that PowerShell version 2.0 is installed. Typically, this is part of the OS, but it may need to be installed for older OS versions. Set up Windows shared directory to serve as the molecule install directory. Molecules that will use forked execution require the Java 7 or Java 8 JDK rather than the JRE. The initial node of a molecule can be downloaded from Atom Management. Select Molecule. The installation and the setup are very similar to setting up a local Atom. So you can follow along the same steps that we have already covered. Once the node is installed, you will see it in Atom Management. The molecule runs as a Windows service, so you would need to set that up next. On the machine where the node was installed, go to the Control Panel, then Administrative Tools, then Services. Right-click on the molecule name and select Properties. Click the Log On tab. By default, the service will log on as Local System Account. Change the service to Log On as an account that has access to the shared directory. If the user is a service user and not a local administrator of the machine, then you need to grant the user permission to start and stop the service. There is information about how to do this in the user guide. Once the initial node is installed, you are ready to add additional nodes on different machines. The Molecule Windows service must be running on the initial node before adding any additional nodes. Now, on the machine where you want to install the additional node, open a PowerShell command window. Navigate to the bin directory of the full UNC path of the initial molecule. Temporarily set the execution policy for PowerShell to be unrestricted for this session by executing the following script. Next, execute the node-install.ps1 file using the following syntax. Executing this file will install the node on this machine. Lastly, go into services on this machine and start the service. Before running the installer on Linux, make certain that each item on the install checklist is complete. This would include ensuring that your system or your virtual machine meet the necessary system requirements, synchronize your system clocks, create the Java path variable, make sure that Java is installed prior to installation, update the host file to the local host name and corresponding IP address, mount a NFS share to serve as the molecule installation directory and shared across all nodes, create a local directory used for file storage required during process execution, create a user ID with rights to the NFS share, and finally, download the Molecule Installer from the Welcome tab. The first step in creating a molecule is to install the initial node. To do so, execute the installer using the bash command from Terminal. Note again that you can force the installer to execute in the command line. However, for our illustration purposes, this graphical installer will be used instead. The installer executes and performs a Java check and prompts you if you need to download a JRE. In the setup, you will select the directory for the Atom installation. The installation directory is the NFS shared, created, and mounted prior to running the installer. Adding additional nodes then is a simple process. First, make certain the following pre-installation steps are completed. It is a best practice to ensure both machines or virtual machines are on the same subnet. Mount the NFS to where the molecule is installed. Create a user with read, write, and execution rights to the NFS share. Install the same version of Java as on the initial molecule node. Update the hosts file with the local host names. Next, execute the following command on the slide from the molecule installation directory in the NFS share. Bash atom start executes the process on the second node. It may take several minutes before each additional node comes online and registers with the AtomSphere platform. 
Finally, place a link to the Atom script on the NFS share in the molecule directory in the init.d scripts directory. This ensures the Atom daemon auto starts if the server is restarted. The molecule is then visible in the Atom management screen. Make note of the Linux molecule name entered during the installation. Both nodes are configured and online with a star designating the head or initial node referred to as the primary molecule node.